Well, <clears throat> sweetie, there's my chickens. Give me my turkeys. They're all curled up in the back because they're a little sketchy. They're about, oh, two weeks old, just a little over two weeks. Here's the little heat lamp so they stay warm, but they know I'm in here and it spooks them a little bit. Let me see if I can get some of them to... The turkeys usually come right to me, the little turkeys. But sometimes they don't. Let me see here. Hi, turkey. Come here. Come here, turkey. See, there's a turkey. There's a turkey. Gobble, gobble, gobble. And the chickens, they're, they're bantam chickens. And see that one over here, it's got a little fur on these feet. And I got the Bantam chickens because they're a little more aggressive. And I think they'll be a little more aggressive towards the dogs and the dogs won't hurt them. So they're pretty cute though. I mean, they're not very old. But the turkeys right there, you know, the longer necks. And then there's another one over there. That's going to be Thanksgiving and Christmas. <laughs> Yeah, so we'll get Thanksgiving Christmas. And then the little Bantam chickens, they'll still lay eggs, but they're just going to be little eggs. So that'll be kind of cool. So that's not too bad. And there's a little chicken. There's a chicken walking. And I wish they get them get them to walk around some more. But the turkeys usually come to me. Usually they, they see me in here and they'll come right up to me. But it doesn't look like it today. And, of course, there's their food. They get lots of food. There's their water. And then, up here is their, for the chickens if they want a bed. And over here is a little door that opens up. And it opens up like that. Then they can go outside. It's dark outside right now. So they can go outside if they want. But I haven't let them out yet. I'm going to wait for them to get, you know, probably a couple more weeks, three weeks maybe. So a little bigger, so because the fence that's outside, the little cage that's outside, um, they can get through the holes. It's just hog wire, the four inch by four inch netting on the wire. It's not chicken wire, so they can get out, and I don't want them to get hurt. So they'll stay in here for a little bit longer. We've had them now for a couple, well, like I said, maybe two weeks, I guess. So that's kind of cool. And then this is the shed, the, the tack room that we have in the backyard. It's close to the house. And then over here, we you know, we keep all our hay. I gotta get some more hay. There's all our grain. Darcy's a fruit when it comes to grain. Um, and then here's all our tack gear. That up here on top is all our uh, um, reins, you know, the reins. And then down here is all the halters that we have. Of course, rakes. And then here's the messy part where I gotta get going. Here's all the blankets. And then... There's fly nets that we put, you know, you can put on their heads to keep the flies away. And there's some more treats. Of course, buckets, extra buckets. There's buckets out in the paddock for them. And here's all their medicines and beauty care. And then down here, I got one, two, three, four saddles. And uh, these ones right here, these ones are the new ones that we bought. And they're really nice. They're super nice. Really uh, soft and everything. And then... You know, of course, more gear up here, sprinklers and stuff for the backyard. And so this is kind of like the, the I got to clean it up, but honestly, it is terrible. You know how I am, I'm kind of a neat freak like that, but this is kind of, and that's the chicken box right there. And oh yeah, you can also look in here in the chicken box. You open this up right here. And then when they start laying eggs, you just go right here and you grab your eggs. So that'll be kind of cool. Pretty, pretty neat. About that right now, and then of course outside it's just dark. I don't know if I can if get out here and turn the lights on. They got automatic lights that, and then see in front of the paddock, see all these lights right here. Those lights are they come on during the night, so it's really pretty. Maybe I can get this outside light to come on. Usually when you walk by it, it'll come on. There it goes. Okay, so yeah, it came on, and then it, it lights up the back. Oops, lights up the backyard for them. There's the horses. My battery's gonna go dead, so I'm gonna try to get this done and everything. See if I can get one of the horses. Hey, bud. There's Bud. You can barely see him. <laughs> and Ruby's over here somewhere. Sorry, it's dark. 
But there's Ruby. There's Ruby Roo. Hi, Ruby Roo. And then Joey's down here. You can see him. He looks like a giraffe, his colors. I call him my big giraffe. But then back here's the house again. And there's the little lights that are all set up over there. Lights are all the way around the whole backyard. And then over here by the barn, if you can see, back there, there's the barn that's lit up. And they're, they come on automatically. They're solar-powered lights. And it's a rope light that goes around the barn. Maybe I can sneak in there real quick before my battery dies and show you. It's kind of cool when you go in here. This backyard is just huge. But see, there's the rope lights and there's a spotlight, kind of lights up the back. And if you walk in here, it's got a motion light that, see, turns that on and that lights up there. And it lights up this whole little barn area. I'll show you better pictures during the day. But, and I know it kind of sucks to see this in the dark, but that's about it. And then come back here and then see everything that's all lit up to the house. It's really pretty. I really like coming out here at night. Just kind of wish you were here, you know. But that's about it, okay? And we'll talk to you real soon. I love you. Bye now.